everybody. There we go. All right. All right. Good evening, and thank you for joining us. Uh, uh, compliments of VCA for uh, this month's meeting of cultural affairs and tourism. Uh, we are excited about all the stuff that's going to be happening in Brockton. If somebody tries to tell you there's nothing happening in Brockton, they have no clue what they're talking about. There's lots of things going on. One of the things you can do to find out what's happening is go to uh, www.happeninginbrockton.com and you'll see uh, images and information about all kinds of different events. Some of them are months, two months in advance. But... Um, We've got some that are going on right now. Every Friday morning uh, to the afternoon, is, I think it's 10 to 2, a farmer's market down at City Hall. And that's always exciting. That only goes through the 27th of this month, and then it'll be done for this year. And there is coming up on, let's see if I can see the date here for it, sorry. The 21st on a Saturday at 2 o'clock, there is, a uh, everyone has a voice at the uh, the, the poets that event is going on, and then we have uh, coming up the Brockton Garden Club. They are hosting a master gardener on bulbs, and that's the ideal time. Fall, we plant the bulbs, so uh, that is coming up at 6:30 p.m. on Monday, October 23rd, over at Our Lady of Lords on West Street. It was parking in the rear. And then the uh, First Evangelical Lutheran Church will be doing a free Halloween concert and trunk or treat event on the 29th. And uh, you can go to their website and get more information. The library uh, also is doing um, Voices of Veterans event that's coming up on the 13th of November. The 11th of November, it's a Saturday, Veterans Day, and we have our annual Veterans Day parade. And uh, let's see, I know I'm missing one here that I had on the website, but where in the world did it go? There's a STEM uh, event over at the library, and I do not see it right now. Uh, I forget what day that is. But that is coming up at the library with uh, Pat Mount Beach and, uh, and also the road races for kids on Saturdays. We've got a few more weeks left of that. Uh, let's see. What else do we have going on? Lots. Hey, don't forget. Tuesday, November 7th, Election Day. And it's important to get out there and vote. The primary was a very poor turnout of voters. We need to get a better turnout for Brocktonians out there to vote on the 7th. I have to do mine early because I found out I have a conference the same day. Uh, but it's in Pennsylvania, and that's a long commute to get here for to vote. And then all the way back there for the rest of the conference. So uh, I'll actually be taking advantage of the early voting, and it is important for everyone to get out there and vote. And uh, let's see, then coming up in November on the 18th at 2 o'clock in the afternoon over at the Public Library on Main Street in the Lingus Auditorium, I'll be having another children's book reading. And uh, we have, oh, two books. Uh, one of them is uh, Why America Matters by Dr. Ben Carson. And then uh, uh, the other book is You're My Family. So, and that was written by uh, Missy Robertson, yes, of the Duck Dynasty group. And uh, I'm hoping, I'm inviting the authors to come and speak so and to read their book rather than me. Uh, but uh, if they don't make it, I'll be there. And we have uh, handouts for all the children and uh, for every child that comes. Uh, for the America, Why America Matters, where everyone will go home with an American flag and coloring books and all kinds of things. So uh, a great opportunity uh, to get some uh, good books read. Uh, then we have coming up, it's hard to believe, our next meeting is here November 9th. Uh, 
Thursday evening at 6 o'clock and for the cultural affairs group. And uh, then there is no meeting in December, but we do have a meeting here on a Saturday, December 2nd. Uh, we will be hosting the Friends of Irish Research and David Allen Lambert Library will be hosting a genealogy lecture at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And it's the topic is going to be the U.S. Census from 1790 to 1950. And so it's going to be an exciting, it's, it may sound dull, but it's exciting because of all the information that you can find. And then as soon as the lecture is over, we'll have uh, down in one of the other rooms here, uh, we'll be having our annual book sale of all the duplicates in our library. Now, if you want to come and volunteer here to help catalog books, you can uh, reach out to me uh, at uh, friendsofirishresearch at gmail.com and I'd be glad to have you come in. I now again have over 100 boxes of books that need to be unpacked and cataloged. And it'd be nice to get a lot of those done before December 2nd in case we have any duplicates. But I suspect with what we have there now, it won't be any duplicates at all. Uh, let's see, what else do we have going on? Oh, it's hard. Lisa, you, you got anything going on down over there? Yeah. Well, come on up here because they need to see you. Everybody, felicita Sepulveda from the Cabrera Association. We got the SBA meeting, the Small uh, Business Association uh, meeting. We do it the first Sunday of the month, but this on a show we're gonna do it the 22nd. So we're gonna do it. I think I don't know if it's the third or the, the fourth, the fourth Sunday of the month. So the 22nd from five to seven, and five uh, five seventy five North Montello Street. So we had. Uh, Small business, so all the small business in the area can come and join us to to you know to learn about brands and and any um, anything we can help you with the small business here in Grafton and the great Grafton area. So people from Avon and Stoughton, everybody can come over and and join us at five five seventy five North Montello Street in Grafton. Uh, what else we have? Yeah, the holiday parade volunteers. Uh, the meeting still going on. Uh, we need volunteers. We need it. We need it. The holiday parade. The the parade is on November thirtieth. Uh, yes. Uh, I don't want to give you the wrong information, but I know uh, it's coming up soon. Um, so we're doing parade. We're looking always for volunteer to join us. It's going to be a lot of fun. And there was something else, and it just went out of my mind. The 21st, 25th. Oh, yeah, the 21st. November 25th. Yes, November, November 25th for, for the holiday parade, yes. So we're still looking for uh, for volunteer, and then you can go to downtown Grafton Association to to get more information about that, you know. I think that's, that's what Great. we have. Yes. Yeah. Anything the, else? Uh, the, li the link to the downtown Brockton Association for the holiday parade yes. is on happeningingbrockton.com. Happening that yes, that yes, is yes. always there. Uh, and then Felicia s mentioned a word that was really important to me, and that's grants. So we're, the cultural um, council grants are just about due. Yes. And then there's some new ones that are coming out for nonprofits that are going to do uh, capital projects. Uh, I think that opens up on the 17th or so that you're able to make applications for that. So. Uh, you can go to the Cultural Council's website, and they'll have all of those details there. And, of course, you can reach out to Ann uh, or even you can contact me, you know, to help out with grants. And Felicia? Yes. Yep. I think the other thing is that we have the Mass Save, the Mass Save program. Oh, yes, the Mass Save program. It's, it's still going on, so, you know, everybody can reach out, 575 North Montello Street, the Cabrera Association. And we, um, we sign you up for, uh, you know, they give you like a free um, uh, extension cord, free shower head, free light bulb, you know, everything to save energy in your house. So it's a free program, it's a free and everything is free. So Which is always the right price. Yes, you yes, know. the free, yes. <laughs> <laughs> if it's yes. free, most people 
they ask about the genealogical research that we do, they say it's free, and mm-hmm. they don't believe me. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. if we tell it's free, it's it really is free. So is everything free. we promote here are thing events that are free. There's no charge for it. Yeah. Uh, I know that there's some other uh, smaller festivals that are be going on over the next few weeks here. Mm-hmm. Those are all free. free yeah. So it's very important to understand that you know free does not mean that it's cheap. It means it's good. Yeah, and yeah. it's important. And of course, energy saving is always a big thing to deal yeah. with. Um, as we do it here uh, at the church facility, we've uh, done some special deployments here. We're do, running a test right now to see how it works. And at yeah. my house, I've gone to solar. So Brockton is one of those communities that you can get in a program to go to solar. Yes. And you know, it's always exciting. Every month you get the electric bill and yeah. it says zero. And then when they go to your house to do the free stuff, you know, the free extension cord, the free shower head, the, the free thermostat, the regular yep, thermostat. Yeah, the thermostats, yep. Uh, they also check your window to make sure the air, the, uh, the cold air doesn't go uh, inside, you know, so they will check on that and they, you know, it will, uh, it's going to be affordable if the landlord needs to do, you know, the, for the homeowner. Yeah. Right, to, you know, it's not going to cost that much money to do it on your own. If you do it through the program, it will going to be more, way, way more cheaper for you. That's yeah. what I feel. The minimum that you're going to be is 50%, and some of the programs it's 80%. Yes. And I know our house was done with the blown insulation a number of years ago. Yeah. We've changed all our windows, and it makes a huge difference. Yeah, sometimes you have to pay at least, you have to pay at least 20%, 20% yep. of that. Tw- yeah, yep. no more than 20%. So... so and and they all have budget programs here, yes. so that's exciting. And you know, New England, one day it's gonna be really, really, really cold, and one day it's gonna be really, really hot. So, yeah. I never <laughs> know. I never noticed the cold, but that's me. You know, <laughs> Felicia, yes, she'll be yes. here in a parka next month, and I, you know, I'll still be here in shirt and, and shorts. And shorts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it's all yeah. in how you. I think it's all in where you grew up yeah. and what you. But yeah. uh, I have a, a great internal mm-hmm. thermostat for that. But anyway. Um, so that's the uh, Richard and Felicia show for this month and uh, next month we're excited my, all, most of our regulars will be back with us and uh, we won't have to try this off the top of our head or notes on a 3x5 card yes, uh, yes, we're gonna be <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be better prepared for that so we're looking forward to it uh, it's always exciting that we you know, forget what you find that's going on in Brockton but again don't forget on the seventh, get out there and vote because your vote counts. We've had elections that were decided by one vote. Mm-hmm. So if you can imagine, if you didn't go vote that day, that you you could have been the one that made the difference. So and there's a there's a poll on the website that you can go to and vote. Yeah, I have a question about the free electric bills. Are yep. those free for the president to get? Yes. Not the president yet. No, not the not for the president yet. That's coming. You know, primaries are coming for that, and elections for that will be coming, but this is all for the city of Brockton, and all we want to do is we want to make Brockton a better place than it is today, and that takes all of us working together to make that happen. So thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you next month on November 9th.